Hey guys, me like song one two three four here with another grave. I need to get rid of that sort of introduction type thing. Anyway, um, yes, I'm going to apologize ahead of time for any background noise, weird noises, video co corruption, audio corruption, or pixelation that may occur as my video card is exploding horribly. Uh, this has delayed my Streets of Rage slightly. Not very much. I'm going to be uploading it soon, though. I finished editing it. What's this error? No, no. no. Anyway. Um, today's video is MTA CIT Part 0 0.5, or whatever I decide to name it. Installing Multi Theft Auto. If you don't know what Multi Theft Auto is, it's sort of an online GTA type thing, modeled off SAMP with an easier user interface, uh, a few more options. Most people prefer SAMP, I prefer SAMP, but it has one great thing over SAMP it has a server. And a really good server, too. Less RP, more random deathmatch simulator. Anyway, so this is the Steam version. I highly recommend you get Steam. It's like an online gaming client, but it doesn't have ridiculous DRM. Hint, hint, EA, EA. Uh, anyway, so for this tutorial, you will need GTA San Andreas uh, via Steam or... Uh, if you watch my other tutorial via CD, um, yeah. So Grand Theft Auto, one copy. It's approximately um, 15 US dollars, which is like 11 something else. And once you have that, go to your Steam library. And um, God, I hate Steam sometimes. Oh, I, he has a bunch of games. He's rich. I got them all on sale. Uh, once you have it um, bought from your Steam account legally, mm, install it. Um, pretty simple. Just keep clicking next. I'm not gonna make you sit through this, but how was that? It sounded like like a hamster or something. Yeah, my window's open, so that's for the background noise. And there's a few fans going. So um, this is going to come up. And by the way, that's a me like song. Uh, community type thing not like a tab in steam that actually is me like song um, has my activities and crap so this is about four gigs it should take depending on your internet anywhere from 90 million and a half years to 26 minutes so I'll meet you back when it is done um, doing things okay so now that it only has about one minute left, I decided to start recording again after watching Vsauce and uh, picking at my tooth, thinking there was popcorn in it, and then blood everywhere. Goes everyone in the comments section. Anyway, so it's about to finish downloading, and then we're going to need our next piece of soft eware. It's not actually called software. Now, um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas... I'm just gonna call it GTA from now on. Uh, GTA SA. So GTA SA uses a Steam update version of the game, uh, being version 1.2, I believe. But fuck you! No, my computer's just fine. Good. Um, but Multi Theft Auto requires a um, special version, being version 1.0. Uh, I ha no. I have noticed, okay good, it's finished, I have noticed that it downloads it sometimes, uh, like the crack automatically, but most of the time it doesn't, so um, we're going to need to go to this website, link in the doobly-doo, and this is the English patch, crack, whatever, for San Andreas, and I want you to click that and download it with your favorite web browser, um, and it will download as a zip, you can use WinRAR, 7-zip, whatever you fancy really. And you want to navigate to your Steam directory. So, for most people, you want to click Start and go to a Computer, and it would be under your local disk C or whatever. The, it, it should have a Windows logo for your main disk. Um, easy way to check is double-click it, and if it has Program Files and or Program Files x86, that is your main disk. So, if you have Program Files x86, go into Program Files x86. If you don't have it, then I am fine! If you don't have it, then just go into Normal Program Files. After you go in there, scroll down, and, and then uh, I want you to double-click Steam 
For me, I have it installed on my games drive. So once you're in Steam, go to Steam Apps, Common, and then find Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and double click it. You'll see all these files. Then open your zip file with your preferred archiving program. Uh, drag and drop, well technically you only need this one, but it makes me feel fancy to do all of them. So drag and drop them all, uh, move and replace anything it wants you to. Um, oh, that's not good. And then that's that part done. So now that, um, by the way, um, if you have Windows 7 or Vista, uh, you're going to want to copy this for later. Just right click copy. If you have XP, uh, don't worry. Things. Um, close that once you're done, and lastly, we're going to need the client uh, itself, being Multi Theft Auto. Right now, there's an error with the website where it's MTA VC, which stands for Vice City, um, but it was MTASA.com. If the links in the description go down, wait a few minutes and then uh, try it again. If it, they still don't work, contact me, and I'll check if they're broken myself and replace them. Uh, but right now. The, a quick if this doesn't work and I can't contact you or I don't respond a quick Google search for MTA essay should work so if there, there's a download button here if, if you couldn't tell um, it's tweets I think I don't know I don't use Twitter yeah I'm gonna say tweets they have all their stuff here they've got a few screenshots from a server that I've never been on I was actually in a situation like this, except it was an armored van and they had a rocket launcher, and it w this was a moped. Anyway, um, it's open source, so you can mod it however you like. But anyway, you want to click the big download button, and with your web browser of choice, it'll start downloading. By the way, sorry if I'm not being funny or awkward, or if you don't want to punch me in the face right now, because um, I'm, I'm feeling quite ill at the moment, but I'm, I'm not going to stop recording right now. No. But after it downloads, just run the application, um, and your setup wizard, why is it called a wizard again, will um, pop up, you just agree. Now, don't uncheck any of these, just... And let, well, the only ones I suggest you uncheck is a uh, desktop icon and, well, I don't want a start menu group. Um, other than those two, I wouldn't uncheck any of them. So, uh, click next after that. It'll freeze for a second, don't worry. Now, um, destination folder for MTA SA being the multiplayer client. Uh, you could leave it as default if you want, but I don't have much space on my C drive. I only have about 50 gigs left, and this is a 500 gig ADA drive, so it doesn't work very well for anything. But so, I'm um, sorry if I cut off the audio there. I got a itchy ear, itchy ear. But um, if you want to do a custom directory, that's quite fine. So my custom directory would be games, other. No, no, not Spelunky, and I'm gonna make a new folder called MTA SA with caps. You don't have to. C new folder. Uh, no. D other. Okay, then MTA SA. I hate when things go wrong in something that's supposed to be perfect. After you select your directory, click next, and it will um, usually auto detect where it installs to. Um, if you have the disk version, I suggest you watch the disk tutorial or the pirate or whatever you got. But this is just for Steam. Um, it's really good at detecting it, but if it doesn't detect it, um, just paste the directory before. Uh, it requires 51 megabytes of space and. Yeah, I got like 700 gigs, so that shouldn't be an issue. If it doesn't auto-detect and you can't paste it, click Browse and select the directory. Again, this would be C or I or whatever, because on my other computer over there that I'm pointing to with my mouse, it's I. Um, but anyway, just install. It says it should take a few minutes, but it doesn't take a few minutes. It takes a few seconds. Um, these are some models. Like I said, um, sometimes it can glitch out and not download the crack, so that's why we did that ahead of time. Now, after it's done, there's uh, I suggest you uncheck Run MTA SA version 1.3.1 at the current time. Click Finish, and then I want you to huh update. Cool. I want you to go to your desktop, and if you want to keep this here, that's cool. But that is a stupid name. There we go. Um, I'm going to delete this actually. That's just a shortcut. 
Also, a quick note, um, this has some V-Sync issues because here's what happened. V-Sync was causing people with bad com I am fine! Uh, V-Sync was causing people with bad computers lag. If you don't know what vertical sync is, it's, well, if you don't know what V-Sync is, it's a vertical synchronization, which is, uh, weird lines, um, and V-Sync stops those weird lines. Um, and, but, instead, it had the option in there to have V-Sync on, but it was causing people with bad computers lag, and, um, a majority of people were using bad computers, so, you know what they do? Let's remove V-Sync altogether, let's not just have it off by default like most games do, let's just remove it. Oh, so it's removed, um, I'll go enable in the, in the indie file. Nope, completely removed. So if you have a, um, um, NVIDIA or, I'm going to punch you so hard right now, it's because I'm recording. My computer's usually semi-okay. So, oh, there's no V-Sync at all, and it, I'm going to punch your face in the face. But if you have, um, NVIDIA or AMD, you could go to, you could go to your NVIDIA control panel by right-clicking and open it, and, um, do the wibbly-wobbly, or if you have an AMD, uh, you could go into the AMD control panel and do wibbly-wobbly, but for me, I actually have an AM, uh, an ATI card, so it doesn't work for ATI cards, and there goes all the people with ATI cards going like, damn it! But, um, there's a current fix in progress, so, no worries. Also, if you have 3D3 Overrider, I want you to close that before launching it. Uh, recording just makes everything slow. Um, yeah, can you, can you stop trying to open? So this is the AMD control panel. Um, if you don't know how to, uh, like, do it with the NVIDIA control panel or the AMD control panel. What the hell is that? AMD control panel or the NVIDIA control panel? That's a cool game. Just go look up a video real quick on how to enable VSync for, let's say, NVIDIA. Don't search your card name, just enable NVIDIA or whatever. Um, most people have Intel and NVIDIA, but you could just Google whatever you need to Google most of the time if you can't find it from me. So, after that, um, by the way, Cam Studio is shit. Um, you should be able to find your application of choice for me since I'm using the grid view I'm going to add it via Steam which you can do with that button down there via grid view if you're stupid um, see see from the last MDZ recording I fixed that or did I not get to that topic yet damn should have thought about that so I'm um, just actually that's not where it's installed so Multi theft auto, open, add selected programs. Um, hmm. Well, then, um, I'm just gonna. It's the same directory, essentially, I think. I'm gonna see which one of these works. Back in a GIF. It was the one on the left. Anyways, again, sorry for background noise. I live near an airfield, so there's something flying over. Um. Anyway, that's how to do it via Steam version. If you have the pirated version and or CD version, I suggest you go check out my video on that, which should be uploaded simultaneously. If you don't know what that word means, explode horribly. I am going to punch your face in the face, computer. Cheer, cheer. Um, yeah, anyway. Again, um, buy the game if you like it. If you have the pirated version, I don't have any problem with you. Um, I use pirating as a way to demo games. S seriously, I'm gonna, s I stated this twice. I pirated a copy of Faster Than Light, played for about 20 minutes, uninstalled the game, and bought it on Steam if I could scroll properly. So, um, that's a tutorial on how to install Multi Theft Auto for, um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on Steam. Hope to see you in my next video series involving Multi Theft Auto. It them being Let's Explore Multi Theft Auto CIT Server. That is apparently a word now. And the um, How to Play Multi Theft Auto CIT Server, because those are going to be very different. One is going to be me dicking around, the other one is going to show you how to play properly. So, um, if again, like I said, because I can't hammer this shit in enough. If you have the CD or pirated version, buy the Steam version, 
well, if you have the pirated version, buy the Steam version or the CD version. No, that's not... Okay, meet you in the next video, whatever it might be. Um, me like song, one, two, three, four, out. See you next time, folksies. Also, this is a really nice capture program. Mmm, it's not free. Suck it.